channel. So today I'm excited because we are trying out the Laura Lee Nudie Patootie collection. I've had this now for again like a month or two something like that. Um, it's not new by any means but it's new to me and I'm super excited to try it out. This was another palette that I wanted to get my hands on and I just never did. I don't know <laughs> why. But before we get into this I just want to remind you guys to please subscribe to my channel, ring the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video or as often as you'd like to be reminded. Um, also, please don't forget to share my videos with your friends and family. And if you're new around here, welcome. My name is Jackie. I hope that you enjoy my content. Please check out a couple of my videos before you make your ultimate decision on liking me or not liking me. <laughs> you guys, me and my husband always laugh because I'll have like a cute little intro and then all of a sudden I'm like, hi guys, and I look like this. <laughs> It's scary. I know. <laughs> okay, guys, let's get into it. Okay, you guys, so you guys are, like, a lot more zoomed in than I normally do, but let's get into it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to prime my eyes with my matte uh, paint pot in soft ochre. You guys, I was really loving this stuff at first, but I did notice that there is times that it almost looks like patchy and dry. Again, I've told you guys, this is my struggle eye. So I do have a little bit of texture on the lid, but I feel like this stuff, you almost can't like rub in too much because then it'll get like that patchy, kind of like dry looking situation. And you guys, if you're curious, I have to get better with the brushes. Um, this brush is from uh, Alan Tracy. I got it in like a Christmas set that my mom gave me. And then for the powder, I used the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush um, for my setting situations. Okay, before we get into it, I do just want to show you the inside of the palette. It's a super cute palette. I don't know why my lighting is focusing on it like that, but it is. I apologize. I just want to make sure I show you the inside. <laughs> So for my transition color, I'm going to go in a little bit into both of these. Um, this is the shade Strip and this is the shade Bear. So I'm just going to tap into both of those and have those be my transitions. And I'm just going to take that on a Moda fluffy brush. If you are struggling um, with applying eyeshadow, I would suggest use smaller brushes, go in there, start your circular motions, and then start dragging because you don't want to drag too much color um, if you don't know quite how much you picked up. Because I know sometimes people are heavy handed or you're not putting enough, and sometimes when you're not putting enough, it happens where it almost looks like stamped on, so you just really want to be careful. And I am bringing that pretty high up. So once we have that on, we're going to go into the shade Butt Naked, and I'm just going to take that on another little blending brush. Again, this one is by Alan Tracy, and I'm just going to kind of concentrate that on the lower half of this transition shade, and then if I need to go back and add, I will do that. So just like that, and then going in with my transition shades again, I'm just going to go over this. I just wanted to deepen that up just a little bit. So once we have that, we're going to go back in with our primer. You can use concealer, whatever you'd like to use. And we're just going to go back in and carve that out. We're going to, I don't know, pretty much do a double cut crease. <laughs> so I'm just going to start off. Here. Okay, so I made my little shape. I did switch into a smaller brush just because I felt like that one wasn't really like getting in the shape as precise as I wanted it. Um, so I did go. I did switch it to a smaller brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side, and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. So I went in and I finished my outlines, and then I went ahead and I cleaned up any of the transition shades, um, and kind of, you know, just made sure there wasn't a bunch. That way, when I laid down my primer again, nothing was gonna transfer and like seep into the primer because we want a nice white base. So that's all I did. I primed, set it, and now we are moving on to the next step. So again, going into that butt naked color, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use a angled brush, and then we're just gonna come in here and do our little outline where we want the shadows 
to kind of start and however you want to see. <laughs> and kept it a lot lighter right here and I did mess up right here but it's okay because we can go back in with the con with the primer or concealer and fix that the reason that I went lighter here is because I'm gonna put in a shimmer shade and I just don't want that color to be too dark so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side right now again it looks a little crazy right here but once we put that shimmer shade we can kind of adjust that to exactly where we want it so it's just an outline, you guys. That's why it looks super crazy. So now with the same angled brush, same shade, the butt naked shade, I'm just going to go in and start filling in the outer portion. And we will see if we want to go darker with it in just a moment. I'm actually going to switch into just another detailer brush. So same shade into that but naked shade so yeah, I'm gonna want to make this a little bit darker so I'm gonna go into the darkest shade which is the shade Nakey Nakey and we're just gonna bring that over here and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna clean afterwards so I'm just kind of like packing on the color and you guys it's actually really buttery And I'm still leaving a little bit of that butt naked shade right there, just like that. So before I move on any further, I'm going to go ahead and clean up my sides and make sure that I can get the shape that I want because now would be the best time to do it before any metallic shades go on. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and I cleaned up my sides. I know we're still looking pretty crazy, but we're going to move on to the metallic shades. So I'm actually going to do this shade right here which is the shade jaybird you guys it looks so gorgeous so we're just gonna take it on i'm not gonna like spritz it or anything at first if we need to i will afterwards and we're just gonna go and put that in the inner corner well not the complete inner corner but like the inner part of the eye i should say and i'm just going in super carefully sorry guys i think i was out of frame with like a smaller detailer brush and see if I could really get into this inner corner here so once we have that in there we're gonna go into the all natural or on it's supposed to be like all natural you know what I mean <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and pop this more closer to the nakey nakey shade And then slowly start blending it up into um, the Jaybird shade. And at this point, it's going to be a lot of repetitive. Adding a little bit of this, blending it, adding a little bit of that, blending it. We basically have all the shades that I'm going to use on the eye. Now we just have to make them flow and see how much of what you want on the eye okay you guys so i went ahead and i got that pretty blended so now i'm just going to go in and fill in the negative space and then i will see if i need to change anything or anything like that again like i said it's going to be a lot of um adding blending repetitiveness so i'm just going to go in with the same primer Okay, you guys so I went ahead and I filled that in so now it's looking a lot better because I fixed up any little mistakes with the little primer um, and then I went ahead and I had to like re fix my little shape at the end but that is it so I hope you can see how blended it is so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side um, and then I will be back so we can do the rest of the face okay you guys so I went ahead and I finished up my eye
guys, I did forget to mention that I went ahead and set my primer. I just used a small detailer brush and my Airspun translucent powder. That is all I used. Um, so moving on now to the face, we're going to use this Cover FX um, Blurring Primer. My packaging does look different because I've actually had this for a while. Um, I think I've used it in like one other video. That just squirted everywhere. <laughs> I think I have used it in like one other video, but honestly, I feel like I just opened it and kind of like felt it. I don't remember actually using it, but I don't really <laughs> remember. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that mainly where I have like the most texture, which is right here around my nose, on my nose, and my forehead. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that there. I am going to put just a little bit of my step one on my nose because I am like really oily in my nose. So once I have my primer on, we're moving on to foundation. Today I'm going back to my original favorite foundation, which is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I do have the color Sun Beige, but honestly, I can't remember if this is the shade that I like or if this one was a little darker. And I say I can't remember because I've always struggled. I swear that they switched up the names on me at one point. I'm just going in with my ColourPop um, Beauty Sponge. And we're just going to get in here. So once I have that on, I'm going to go in with my Dose of Colors um, Meet Your Hues Concealer. I do have the shade Medium Tan. And I'm going to go in super lightly um, into my L'Oreal powder. So for blush, I'm just going to get one of the blushes from my Milani Vault. And we are just going to go in with this one that is probably my new <laughs> favorite blush at the moment. Um, it's this one right here. This one is Bellissimo Bronze. For highlight, we're going to go in with Jaclyn Hill's Beaming Light Highlight. I remember the names. <laughs> I'm going to go in with the color Bomb and the color High Volt. And I don't know if you can see the color difference there. I'm just mixing both of those on my big fluffy brush. So once I have that highlight on, I'm going to go ahead and set my face. I'm just using the one that I've been using lately, the ColourPop Hydrating Setting Mist. Okay, so now that that's set, I'm just going to go ahead and brush through my eyebrows and then apply the gel. If this is your first time watching me, I actually don't draw on my brows. I just put gel. <laughs> so now that we got the brows on, I'm going to go ahead and go back into the Nudie Patootie palette. I'm going to go into the Stark and the Undress shade. Um, and then I'm going to use that as my brow bone highlight. I'm just going to take it on a Real Techniques detailer brush. just popping it on the high points so once we have that brow bone highlighted going back into the palette we're gonna go back into our original transition colors to strip and bare and we're just gonna apply that on the lower lash line And then I'm going to take this a Sigma pencil brush and I'm just going to go back into that butt naked color and the nakey nakey. Just mix them both shades together and I'm going to try to keep it on the outer corner, see how I like it and then we will go from there. Okay you guys, so I went ahead and I finished my under eye. I kept most of that darkness on the outer corners, just dragged it in a tiny bit. Um, but I went ahead and I applied the liquid eyeliner by Allure, the magnetic one. And I'm going to go ahead and 
pop the magnetic lashes for you guys. Um, I know some of you guys wanted to see them in a couple of different looks. So I'm going to go ahead and apply these. I already did the eyeliner part. I literally just run my mascara through my lashes like really quick because I had a little bit of eyeshadow on them. Um, but the eyeliner should be completely dry. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I got that on. Um, I know, I don't, I feel like you guys can't even tell, but these do not fit in my eyes. My eyes are too big. So I just went ahead and I put it like as far back as I could. And so these are just my lashes here. But the fake lash starts right here. I don't think you guys can see that far. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pop this other one on and then I'll be right back so we can do the lips. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and I lined my lips. This is just the Coqueta Lip Liner by Alemar Cosmetics. But moving on to the Laura Lee Los Angeles Liquid Lips. This one right here is Nakey Nakey. The next one in the middle is Jaybird. And then the last one over here is Topless. Let me go ahead and focus these in a little bit for you guys. They are beautiful shades. I think I'm going to go in with Jaybird and hope it's not too bright pinky on me I think it's gonna be fine I love it it kind of reminds me of bachelorette just a little bit lighter so I'm just gonna take that and okay you guys so I went ahead and I applied that and I just did a little bit of shading with the Alemar Cosmetics lip liner not too much because I really wanted that Jaybird shade to just pop out you guys I love this liquid lip so getting into the palette here um so I will say that the Elm Natural and the Jaybird shades are beautiful um however I do feel like these are probably better applied maybe with your fingers or something like that um they are gorgeous shades let me get in here and swatch some of the metallic shades so you can see the difference so this one and this one are metallic shades you can see but these two are foiled they are stronger i do think that these two are better applied with your fingers um but maybe you just have to play around with them a little bit i did just notice that the el natural color out well however you say that you guys i feel like i'm saying that wrong um i'm sorry laura um but i do think that color was a little more chunky so maybe go in a little bit at a time spritz your brush um and it works just fine the mattes though i actually really love they were very blendable very easy to work with i love them as far as the three liquid lips i just used one today but they are all the same formula just different shades um it feels nice and pillowy and like when you're putting it on it almost feels like i don't know like a creamy satin i don't know how to explain it it's just not like super wet but it's also it's like a matte liquid already like before it even touches your lips so it does have like a slight sheen and then once it officially mattes down it's like completely matte but it's just like i don't know like this pillowy cream almost like it feels so nice when you're putting it on now that my lips are completely dried down i think it looks just fine and i think that it feels comfortable and it doesn't feel like it's drying out your lips um again I always put a little bit of chapstick on before applying any really any lip products at this point even if I'm putting on a gloss you guys a lot of times I'll reach for my chapstick it's just a habit um but this is still available last time I checked a couple a couple days ago so I will link it down below. I'll link her whole website down below as well. Um, if you guys check this out and you guys like it, let me know. Um, and yeah, guys, I think I just created my first Valentine's Day look. <laughs> I'll be here in January, like the beginning of January. Okay, you guys, so that is it from me. I will link anything else down below in case it didn't make it into the video. Um, if you have any other questions about anything on my face, let me know. Oh, that primer. It's looking really nice, actually. It looks really nice. I'm going to continue to use it and see how it works out for me. Um, I'm going to leave this makeup on all day. I'll let you know down in the description how it went. But yeah, guys, I will see you guys in my next one.